This is where you fall down. Howdy folks, and welcome back to another episode of Days Gone. Uh, if you look behind me here, you can see the death train, where we just took out a horde. Uh, real happy with the way things have been going so far. Um, got plenty of ammo, plenty of tools at our disposal. Thinking about it, today I'd like to turn in a bounty for Tucker. Make our way over to her, she's clear across the map. Um, Maybe we'll do some freaker fishing, um, earn some camp credits. I'd like to upgrade to a better weapon, and hopefully later on, make our way all the way back over here, head over to Copeland's camp. That should be it. Um, I believe he has an upgrade for our bike. We've got to do something Green about that piece of crap. Green lights are good. Okay. Let's see what we got in here. Been spending a lot of time seeking out these Nero checkpoints. Uh, hard to difficulty. Any kind of advantage we can get, we should take. Pick this up over here. Ooh. More Molotovs. Another Nero micro recorder. Yeah, near All right. there. Let's see if it still works. Let's see. Um, I think focus would do us some good here. <laughs> yeah. So, our ultimate goal right now, I mean, you could play it a bunch of different ways, but for me... Stealth is king, so we're gonna have to build our way up to tier two unlock. Uh, I think survival vision. Let's do this guy. There you go, tier two unlocked. As soon as we can, we'll get that new upgrade. What's this? So we're going to make our way all the way back up. We actually have to collect the drugs from the map that Leon gave us. Um, on the way up there, maybe take out a freaker nest or two. Kind of make things easier for the return trip. I am going the wrong way. That's fine. I'll take the tracks out there, I think. So yeah, how's everything going on your end? Just uh, been one of those days, man. Happy to be off of work. Loving this game right now. Uh, every time I pick this up, I enjoy all of it. Raider camp. Bunch of mean sons of bitches, aren't you? There's yeah, an ambush you camp up here. I really like to make it to Tucker's today, but we are forced. <laughs> we need the practice. We are forced to collect new uh, recipes. Um, give ourselves some tactical advantages in the field here. I've gotta kill and we acquire those recipes nice in bunkers. Okay, that's right. I remember this location. Let's see if we can draw them out. I prefer taking these places down at night. Uh, obviously, there's that big, bright flashlight that gives them away. Um, but it's also harder to see you. And, uh, again, stealth is king. We're going to need that. Got it. Hey. One down. How many of you are left, huh? Burn something. Is 
Something's still making here. too much noise. <laughs> Now, I've tried a couple of different ways with this guy in the past. But what I figured out is, if you can get them to walk around the corner, just shoot them in the face. No reason to... Make... Oh, I had the wrong weapon out. Okay. Finally. Jesus. Well... <laughs> Men coming! What do you think now, huh? Falling back! Gotta get down! Whatever, get out of there, dude. Catch! That's what you get. I hate doing it this way. Burn through so much ammo. God damn it! Where is he? You son of a bitch, where are you going, huh? Mister? They're just running around I'm everywhere count right to three, now. And you better drop your gun and show yourself. Uh-huh. One. Two. What you get? Make our way over here. Hey, buddy! Let's be okay, one left. Alright, we're gonna have to wait for him to reload. Alright. This guy is just being an absolute pain. Go down already. I have to shoot him again. Whoa! That's it. You're done. How do you yeah, like I just that? burned through so much ammo. Like uh, not being You're stealth so like this, I don't like the head-on approach. Well, we look like the type to have an underground bunker. Yeah. The truth shall set you free. This in the states of America. Marauders think they're got another thing coming. A lot of goddamn ammo. Alright, let's get ourselves a recipe. Um I think this is a cocktail. Hey, this is handy. A map. All marked up. Yeah, and that. Nice. Nice. I guess they won't be needing it. <laughs> Not anymore. Oh, I'm just gonna close my eyes for a bit. Let's go ahead and wait till morning. I was ready to go back at it. <clears throat> oh, here we go. Oh, look at all the nests over here. Sarah's gonna be crawling. Yeah, I, uh, I don't know. Oh, I'm an idiot. Try to wreck myself out. Let's fix this before we move on. I can fix this. So, 
there is a freaker nest over here. Might as well try to hit that on our way through. Gotta be close to a nest. Whew, I can smell it. <laughs> Pull a bunch of them out. I'm just not hitting my shots right now. Oh! Keep them, keep them in front of us. This is manageable. I think I hear a couple more. Yep. Get, get off me. What happened there? <laughs> more bounties. I swung right over his head and he fell down. Another nest. Burned it down. Alright. Go ahead and burn this place out. Yeah. And, uh, there's no reason to stay. I might as well just move on. down here to the cemetery and that's where Leon's map said that the drugs are I believe he stole them from Tucker Boozer asked us to burn our friend's body over here so the freaks don't get to her. Jesus. I'm glad he's dead. <laughs> I'm glad you're dead. Rest in peace. They can't get you now. This cemetery is a little bit bigger than it appears at first glance. Um, we end up coming back here a couple of times. Move him away. Alright, get this on our bike. Go investigate this chopper that just flew overhead. So, this crossbow on my back comes ten times more useful once we complete this part of the mission here. Sneak packs these guys. And the thing you gotta understand about these Nero soldiers, they are more or less invincible. Um, so you evade, you don't attack. Oh, but what I was saying earlier was Yeah. A few dozen at least. 
Once we get done with this mission, we unlock what's called a residue bolt. Estimated size of five to six hundred. Um, and hibernation location at I'll save it as a surprise, but the residue bolt makes No, it's O'Brien. Got it. Shit, where was I? They're talking about O'Brien. That residue the bolt makes the crossbow almost invaluable. Must be nice and cozy in there. You can have a lot of fun with sensor, it. Planted by Lieutenant O'Brien, approximately 447 subjects have entered the cave this morning. Recommend sending a follow-up team sometime after 1900 hours to assess the cave's interior and further assess conditions. Okay, stay low, well, stay low. Well. Now shut it. Anyone else hear that? <laughs> Boozer, you there? Booze man, come back. Deke, hey, come here. Then we rode on a farewell. The Nero guy, the soldier, or whatever the hell he was. We took Sarah. We had an ID badge. What was the name? Oh, God. O'Brien. Hey, uh, get some sleep. Deacon out. And that's why we clear this area out first. So, we are going to make our way clear across the map now. I know. I'm an unmarked van. Moving from town to town. Uh, you know what? Let's, let's rest up for the night. This we'll is make Mark this a little Cooper, easier on ourselves. Like Boozer says, I hear a bunk calling my name. Oh, you get this. Done. Oh, God, this bike. This bike. Oh, hate this. Soon enough, soon enough we'll upgrade. When I get into these tunnels, I tend to turn off my light. Oh, we're blocked. Anyways, turn off these lights. Um, you know, it's just harder to see you when you're coming on through. Not that it really matters. Motorcycle is ridiculously <laughs> loud. Wonder what Nero left behind um, this time. You know what? I'm gonna show you guys something. <laughs> now we're in business. Green lights, green lights are good. So somebody had asked me. Well, I go around and I cut down the speaker heads. And this is why, right here. These guys will swarm. Alright. Get some freaker ears out of this. And some camp credits. God, these guys are strong. And that's that. I all think quiet. that's all of them. Uh, micro recorder. Yeah. Well, let's uh, let's do stamina this time. I gotta clear them out. Let's show you guys this town here. So on the way through Tucker's, we drive through this area a lot. This house right here all the way in the back of that lawn um, there's 
uh, a lot of goodies tucked away in there. And if you look, so we're going to hit that house up. And then if you look over here, um, we have that bridge that's out. You can actually just bypass that through the river. You have a gas station. You have a pancake house over here. Um, a lot of missions spawn in this area. But all the way back here is the gold mine. That saloon, that's where we want to go. We are going to re-up on ammunition like crazy. We'll make our way up. Some of these doors are locked from the inside. You never find your way in. Ooh. Spend that skill point a little bit later here. Yeah. Ammo. Tons of ammunition. <laughs> and as you get into town, uh, you'll notice it's more or less overrun by freakers. Which is fine, it's just, uh, again, oftentimes you'll find missions here, and um, it can be rough, man. You don't want to. You don't want to be here at night, that's for sure. I can hear him out there. I don't think he's coming. So here we are. <laughs> so this is that door that's locked from the inside. I just don't ever bother unlocking it. There's a pipe bomb. And then next door here is the really good stuff. So this rifle over here, it's a, I believe it's an M4. Pretty decent rifle. Um, it'll take up your, your third slot in this case. That's going to be your crossbow. Um, it's nice, you know, wait till you get a silencer on it. So, grenades, attractors, there's ammunition. This thing over here is a flashbang. Um, again, I don't use it a whole lot, but we can experiment. And then, more ammunition. way out of town I tend to exit this back way here it's a little less direct but if you caught out after dark it's the safest means of getting back to the road all right back on the road here we go another situation. Um, this desert, for whatever reason, creeps me the hell out at night. Until you upgrade your bike, it's just not worth it. See the smoke? Camp full of squatters. You're the assholes who tried to ambush me. It's another bandit camp. I'll be taking those guys out soon enough. Alright guys, we are almost to Tuckers. Uh, but Shoot first, make it safer. I promise to do some freaker fishing for you folks. There are nests out here, and if you don't burn them down right away, you can do something like this. this is burn it up. Finish him.
right, got some free credits. Someone's approaching the gate. Open up. Where's Tucker? Alki. Over at the dig site. Well, which one, goddammit? The north one. Back there. If anybody touches this bike, or anything on it, I break your fingers. Whatever, man. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Telling you, everywhere you look, it's all one giant lava field. Twenty-five feet solid rock. It'll take jackhammers to. I don't need a lecture, goddammit. I get it. No, you don't. But these people are hungry. Even if they had all their strength, it'll take them months to finish this job with picks and shovels. I don't give a shit. We're all hungry, Al. But this job's gotta get done whether it takes all goddamn year. It's not like we got somewhere else to be now, do we? Wait. Not finished. We'll make it quick, we get Al. I got things to do. Rippers. This morning, one of my men spotted a large group of them coming over the pass. And no one stopped them? How the f... Tucker, you know we're already spread thin. Are, are they headed north? Al! Are they headed towards us? Yes or no? I... I don't know. Maybe he knows. <laughs> what the fuck are you oh. up to now, huh? What's this about, huh? Damn it, Alki. It's not his job to know. It's your goddamn job to know. I can't be in two places at one time. You're the one me here, running your dig? Or you want me out there in the shit? Chasing the rippers. Go check the store, see how much ammo we got left. I'll tell Wheeler to watch the dig. What are you looking at? Oh, I don't know, I'm just waiting for you to smarten the fuck up. Don't! Did you track down Leon? Hey, here, take it. Good thing someone around here knows how to make things happen. Ride with me. Next time on The Walking Dead. Definitely, Williams.